how I transformed a plastic cord and used it in my bedroom. Hey guys, Youth Essentials here. For today's video, I'm going to be using this wide plastic cord and transforming it into something useful and stylish as well for the bedroom. I'm going to start off by using wood pieces that I cut to 30 inches long and that is because I wanted the design to be wide but you can leave yours just the same width as the plastic cart. I'm measuring 2 inches off by the side and the one at the top I'm going to have 2 inches that I'm going to be leaving out at the top and by the side. I'm gonna go ahead now and add foam to all these boards. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I made marks for where the drawer pull will be so that I just get everything right and accurate before I start the tufting. I'm gonna make holes for the drawer pull and for the tufting as well. My staple pins are kind of long so I'm gonna have something at the bottom before I then place what I have on top of it. This is a rich blue velvet fabric that I got from Joanne Fabric and that's what I'll be using for this project. All I'm doing is simply locating where the holes are and stapling it down. As you can see, the top and the sides were left open because I'm going to be gluing on mirrors there. Now just to make sure that the drawer pull still fits and it's in the middle, I had to do this before I continued. Now I'm going to go ahead and add crystal buttons to cover up the staple pins. I made three of these, so the first one I made will be at the top and then the other two would be at the second and at the third drawer. I use glue just to keep it in place and after that I'm going to be using screws to attach the wood piece to the plastic. I'll be covering up the sides with a board that has been covered with blue velvet fabric. Now it's time for me to add the mirrors at the top here and by the sides. I'm using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun just to keep it in place but I'm still going to use tape to hold the mirror to the wood overnight for it to dry firmly attached to the wood before I then take it off.
I noticed that the lip of the drawers were showing and they were still white, so I'm gonna have to cover that up with fabric. Now I'll recommend doing this before attaching the wood piece that has been covered with tufted fabric. That way it will be easy to attach the piece. But what I did here, since I already had mine on, I just attached it at the top and because velvet fabric kind of folds on its own, it was easy for me to just glue it on and then fold the remaining fabric on the inside. The design I chose is for two nightstands, one on the left and one for the right. This is what the bottom looks like. I mean, you can still see the plastic, but it's okay because no one is ever going to see the bottom. Now I'm going to be removing the tapes because this has dried already overnight. And so far, so good. What's left now will be the drawer pull and I'm going to be attaching that from the wood through the plastic to keep it sturdy. After doing this, I glued a board on top of the carts and then glued a mirror on top of it. The measurement for the mirror at the top was 15 inches by 30 inches. The same as the wood that I had placed on top before attaching the mirror on top of the wood. This is optional, so you can also add the wheels that came with the cart at the bottom to make it easy to move around. I'll be making a matching headboard that's gonna go with the nightstands. And I'm gonna be starting with an accent wall at the back, at this space right here. Now, there are six windows here, guys, okay? So I'm gonna cover up these two because I don't need this two. So these two are gonna be covered up and I'll be left with four which I think is okay for a bedroom. I just got cheap boards from Home Depot and I'm gonna be attaching them on the wall. As you can see, I'm just gonna cover up the entire wall, at least the space that I need anyway, for the headboard with the board. And then I covered the open spaces with tape so that light doesn't go through it. I'll be using the crushed velvet fabric for the accent wall. I'll be using my heavy duty stapler to attach this to the wood. Because the fabric is really stretchy, when I was then attaching it at the top, all I did was just stretch it right down to the bottom and by the sides to remove any ruffles or lines that might appear later. The openings where the lights coming through at the bottom is going to be covered much later. I took wood pieces, joined them together, and then cut out the shape that I want for my headboard. And I added foam on top of it. And then I made lines where I want the mirrors to be. I cut out those parts and made points for my tufting and also made holes on those points. This headboard is six feet wide and I'm using the same rich blue velvet fabric that I used for the nightstands for the headboard. I forgot to mention that I removed two inches off from the top. Now I'll be adding crystal buttons to cover up the staple pins. Now I'm going to be adding mirrors to the design.
Before I started with the headboard, I had already added wood at the back to make it easy to mount it on the wall. Now this is what it looks like. And I did add white chalkboard in the middle because the chalkboard is smooth and it looks like it's been covered with contact paper and it was perfect for the middle because it would bring out the color more. Since the blue velvet fabric is a little bit dark and the gray velvet fabric at the back is kind of dark as well. So I had to just use something bright in the middle to bring out the color of the blue velvet fabric. This is the before and after. And to think that this all started with a plastic cart that I used to make nightstands, which inspired me to go ahead and make a matching headboard. I'm really happy with the way this turned out and I enjoyed every process in making this matching set. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video too as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button for more videos like this.